This video is made possible by the following cuties. You can check out the gear they provide for me in the description below. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to Project Cars 2 for another video. So as you can probably tell by the title and my rather comfy jumper here, it is Christmas or festive holidays or whatever the hell you want to call it from where you are. Regardless, I hope you'll have an awesome time with your family and friends and get to eat and drink as much as you like because I know that in about three or four days time I'm going to be a certified round boy. So given the occasion I thought it'd be nice to do a special sort of video and I thought you know what, what would a sim racer do for Christmas if he had any sort of concept of joy or happiness. So for me I thought given that I've driven an all for 50,000 times let's go there but of course it is the winter so we're going to be driving around a snowy Nordschleife in a car that is entirely inappropriate <laughs> for the conditions a McLaren F1. Why you ask? Because I can and also road cars in this game do have kind of ice slash snow tires whereas race cars tend to come with just slick. Now because this is Project Cars 2, I'm going to be using virtual reality, my VR headset, my HTC Vive Pro, because I really think that amongst all the things that maybe Project Cars 2 has wrong with it, in VR, in virtual reality, it's still unmatched for immersion. So driving around the snow in Nordschleife, in a McLaren F1, in VR, in this jumper, it's going to be fun. Let's get into it. Well, here we are at a snowy Nordschleife inside the McLaren F1. I never quite get used to sitting bang in the middle of this thing, but of course that's how this car is designed. And as a result, we have two uh, rear view mirrors, which is, again, really odd. But let's get into it. So we have about 600 odd horsepower in this thing, of course, from the BMW V12 behind us. And this car, if you guys somehow don't know why it's famous is or was the fastest production car in the world for a very very long time somewhere above 240 miles an hour I'll flash the exact speed on the on screen this thing was capable of just because it's just a, a bullet in a straight line no error whatsoever but let's see how it does in the snow <laughs> here at the Nordschleife so of course as you can see being careful on the throttle is probably the most important thing I have no traction control on no ABS, and that no traction control means that if I do smash the, the power, I've got all 600 of those horses spinning my rear wheels uh, in conditions where it doesn't really work. So I'm going to try, try and carry some sort of speed around. But you can see, as soon as you start making those little mistakes, the car starts doing the big skids, which we don't really want, to be honest. And I'm really feeling quite comfy right now and quite cosy inside this uh this McLaren, even though, of course, it's snowy outside, that that kind of that orange light on the snow feels infinitely warm for some reason. Oh wow, okay. So as you can see, already struggling just to get that power down, and naturally the car wants to slide all the time. Let's try and build some speed. You can see the speedo there on the right-hand side, it's in kilometers an hour. And as soon as you look at the throttle, it just skyrockets. I love that it goes up to 400 kilometers an hour on the speedo. Oh, over the flue plats. Come on, save it. Save it. Ah, don't hit the wall, don't hit the wall. Oh, that would have been very expensive in real life. But you're seeing just how on edge this thing is. I mean, the snow tires do help. We can move, unlike the race cars. But it's just very, very difficult to get that power down and start accelerating properly. So we're going to come over the, uh, the rise now again. I'm tempted to open her up. Let's do it. Oh, God, this car is fast. Oh, I, I looked at the brakes. I looked at the brakes. I looked... <laughs> Oh man, just so you know, this, is, this isn't a serious attempt at me trying to get round the lap, as you've probably guessed already. Um, just more a bit of fun. But you're seeing just how quickly the crash happens. Well, in VR, it's a bit scary, because the uh, arm code just goes, hello, I'm now going to be inside you. And of course, uh, that, ain't, <laughs> that ain't it, Chief. It's not what we're into. So we'll run down the hill now. You know what, I've never seen... No, I have seen a snowy rebel tree once, as the uh, background there glitches out slightly. Trying to focus on going in a straight line down here. This is as far as I've got, by the way, on my test. Beyond this, I've not driven this track in this car. In fact, I've not driven Project Cars 2 in the snow ever because, like, oh, it's a gimmick. Why do I want to do that? But being a YouTuber is a big gimmick, so there you go. Somehow that came back to me. I have no idea how. It seems that if you're off throttle and the car starts to slide, you just continue to slide. I don't think that's entirely how it is in real life, but to be honest, I don't really care. I'm just having a bit, a bit of fun. 
Hello, Rebel Tree! Look at you there, all snowy. You chilly boy. Oh god, the brakes are the worst part, because we have no... No ABS. The brakes lock super easy. I'm talking super easy, so the car just starts to wander a bit. In a straight line, it's not too bad, but of course... The Nordschleifer is far from being a straight line, so... This is going to be difficult, coming downhill here. So soft on the brakes, so soft. Oh, I just drifted a Macker F1. Yes. This thing is not really a drift car, as you probably imagine. It being mid-engine, the, the weight tends to come round quite quickly if you spin, so... Drifting this thing is quite a challenge. Probably should have taken something a bit more driftable for this, but hey-ho. It's not a McLaren F1. And it had to be, of course, in the, the brilliant orange. The McLaren orange. We'll ask that brand if it's the right shade on it, though, and see if he's uh, happy with me driving it. Easy down here. Slowest part of the course here, and wow, the car just... Right at low speed on that sort of lock, it starts to come round in a bit of a weird way, but you get used to it. <laughs> oh no! See, the, that's what happens as soon as you get on the throttle, as soon as you start thinking, oh yeah, I've got some confidence now. You end up going backwards into the wall. I'm actually shutting my eyes right now, because I found that when I, um, when I go backwards in this, when I start sliding backwards, it is terrifying, and it makes you feel ill, so I just shut my eyes when that happens. Right over the crest here, you've seen all any of the Nordschleifer crash videos, everyone crashes off to the right there, so there you go, that's okay. No, it's not. Over the crest there, and the car gets uh, uneasy. Only three massive crashes so far. Luckily, the, these cars are plentiful, and they aren't rare at all. <laughs> it is... I don't know, this is very weird because I know that what this essentially is is just like a skin on the uh, on the road and a, and, a bit, and a bit less grip and etc. And the trees have got different textures, but it just feels so much more, feels so much quieter. Snow always feels quiet to me, so like, when you, uh, when you see this and you're driving around, even though you're creating lots of noise in your Macker F1, it just feels like a very serene thing, which you then of course shatter by just pirouetting into the barrier at 200 mile an hour. Come on, let's try and get some speed. You can feel the... Whoa, my word. Imagine, right? Imagine that moment. Imagine you're driving your McLaren F1. You, you, you just nip the throttle. You do 140 mile an hour, of course. This car only does 140 mile an hour. And um, you start sliding. That is... That is squeaky bum time. There you go. I'm just really soft on the brake. I'm barely even touching it. I'm just... The, the suggestion of the car, like, slow down when you like. A bit of a cheat shift there, but who cares. Now the carousel, this is going to be interesting. Look how, look how, I love the clouds there, and that lighting effect, it's so cool, it really is. I can't say enough good things about it, I have done in the past. But I, as I've been reliably informed, me saying good things about anything makes me a shill, so maybe I'll just be quiet. That was actually... Pain free. I didn't die through there, that's nice. Now the last section is the section I'm most nervous for, just because... <laughs> I love this Macca, I really do. Um, it, because it's just... The lighting again! My word, look at that! Okay, I'm gonna finish this floor, because there's a lot of animation change. And a lot of fall-offs, and that's where the car starts to slide. And off throttle too, so I need to try and just stay on, on throttle as much as I can. Keep the car moving in one direction on these snow tyres, and hope for the best. He says now downhill now, pick up a bit of speed. That's about as much steering input as I want to put in. Easy. See the car's under steering through here, just sliding. Saved it with fr throttle somehow. Second gear. And through here is the section that I was most worried about. So we got through there in kind of one piece. Now the downhill, this is a bit that's going to be scary, come on. Just a blip of throttle, save me! Oh my wolf! <laughs> no. Okay. I have no idea how I saved any of that. By the way, on the straight we're sending it, we're going as fast as we can on the straight. I want to try and put all the power down and see if we can get to that magical 200 mile an hour in the snow. Come on, make it. I don't know, over this section again. Oh, look at that lighting. That is just sublime. That really is. I've missed driving in VR. I don't know why I didn't do it for ages, but... 
anxiety's weird. That's weird things to you. And I, that's, I'm not going to get into it too much, but I'm glad that I managed to set this back up again. And uh, look at that. Awesome. Amazing. Jimmy, you're meant to be doing the driving, all right? Not the uh, nice graphics. <laughs> There you go, softly, softly, Jimmy. No, that's that's off road. I have found, oddly, that the grass has about the same kind of grip. Oh my word, that wasn't the grass I hit there. I hit a little bit of pavement on the side, and round I go. But again, that goes to show you just how slippy it is. I mean, I'd say that I'm not sure how this would be in real life. I mean, who, who the hell has driven a McLaren F1 in the snow in real life at any sort of speed? Uh, no one with. No one's sensible anyway, so I have no idea how realistic this would be, but the sense of fear is quite <laughs> is quite realistic. Okay. Should we try and actually get on it a little bit up the hill, maybe? Oh, okay. Easy now. Easy now. Come on, it's one more corner. We can get through this, I think. Alright, then we're going to open her up. I've got to open her up slowly, though. Got a warmer up first, if you know what I mean. There you go. Finally, we're into fourth gear. Oh, and it's just moving around so much in a straight line. I'm pretty sure the wheels are spinning a bit. There's fifth gear. Oh, it's moving a lot in a straight line. 280 k's. Nearly 300 k's. It's getting difficult to hold on to. No, I'm going to have to. Oh, God, this is going to be terrible. Am I even going to go through here? <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down, not that way, slow down the good way, not the way in the Barrett, oh my, oh no, 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 I had to close my eyes then, my body prepared for death, <laughs> well, we're going to make it around the North Slide for, I think, just about there, in the snow in a McLaren F1, that was a, that was a laugh, that was, I enjoyed that, this is what sim racing should be every now and then, just, just kick back, do something that isn't quite 100% serious and just enjoy how far sim racing and graphics and all that have come in the last few years. But guys, hope you enjoyed that. Again, it was a lot of fun. McLaren F1 in the snow with the Nord Slide. Go give it a go. You might enjoy it. You know, having fun is allowed in sim racing. I know it's a foreign concept to a lot of people, but we are allowed to have fun. And importantly, I hope you guys did at home. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Also hit subscribe and the bell notification icon. Very important because that way you might actually be notified when I stream or make a new video. YouTube has been deciding not to show people my videos recently. So if you want to see them, then hit the bell icon. Um, as always, I've got to say a genuine heartfelt thank you to my patrons and to the channel members and sponsors. You guys um, basically keep this channel running. And it's kind of weird being here for another year doing this. And you guys are a big part of that. So thank you so much. As I said at the start of the video, guys, hope you have an awesome Christmas and a new year. Uh, if you don't come back, I'm sure there'll be some videos uh, out before then. But I hope your Christmas is amazing. I hope it's full of smiles and happiness and the ones you love. And if not, I love you. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.